to go through ponds like that. And the old man that built it never got the chance to actually take it mudding. We're gonna make it proud. Guys, on today's episode, I scrolled too far on the internet. I bought a Ford Ranger. And this one's got a V8 in it too. I found this thing in South Carolina on the internet. And then the only person I could think of that I knew could get it back here for us is this bad man pajama right here. He went and bought it for us, loaded it up, brought it back here. And I've never even seen it. This is the first time I've ever seen it. You know, I was expecting like a hack together, you know, like most of these things are. This is like yeah. pretty nice. This looks like we didn't work on it. Well, should we find a loading dock so we can get it off here? All right, here's the plan. We don't have a loading dock around here, but my gooseneck tilts up and down. So we're going to roll the truck off his trailer onto our trailer. And then we're gonna tilt our trailer up and unload it. And then we're gonna see how good our lifted Ranger really is. Hey, don't worry, it'll start. Keep going. Keep going, Sean. Yeah! Come on! It's got a carburetor on it, but if we get a holly on there, I bet you'll run a whole lot better. The thing is, if we want to see if we want to see the motor, we can just look through the fender. That's how you know it's a good truck, dude. I don't even know if I can get in it. It's so tall. Here, Whoa. I got the door. Just grab the door and trust me. Oh, I got it now. God, this thing is sweet. The request that the owner had was he's, he built this truck with his family. His only request is he wanted to see it go through a pond or get in the mud and like absolutely rip it. He's never got to, he never got to do it. He never got to even try it out. So We can't let him down. We just can't. No, we gotta no. uphold what the owner wanted. But first, there's one more modification we need to make to it before we can go rip it. Oh my God, it looks so good. Dude. Yep. It definitely needed that. Definitely. Dude, it's got flames on it. Ooh, she's so clean. Look at that. Redneck science. She's blue. She's all one color now. And look at this. Oh my God. Damn, it looks so freaking good. Does it start still? I don't know. We'll find, find out. This video is sponsored by the Step Ladder. Because, what are you doing, Step Ladder? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I need to take this with me. Can I keep this? Come on. Oh, you're right. Sorry, dude. I don't like this razor so much. It looks so freaking good.
if I could see where I was going or not because I'm like, it ain't gonna do it. But I reached down and walked in the four wheel and I put the front locker in. And just went bump and went bump. We're on. We are on the trailer. What do you think? Good? The lady flipped me off. Well, f that bitch. <laughs> Goddamn dumbass. <laughs> Can't you see we're trying to load a lifted Ford Ranger here? Aww. Dude, the trailer's still dead. We need a new battery in the trailer. Here, pull that. It is a monster truck after all, so it should. We should be drive off there. Should be fine. There's a step ladder around here. Nope. Look at the Kubota. Okie dokie. That's <laughs> loaded up good. There's a little bit more. Alright, well. Oh yeah! Stop! As long as we have a skid loader wherever I decide to drive this, we'll be fine. How do you think this is going to go? I think this is going to go really badly. I've seen that. Got it. It's a little warm. Is that the alternator belt? I think so. Did you see it? I wrapped it up and then it took off just like a freaking tire that fell off a car all the way down into the field. Just like, whoa! We need to fix that before we go into the pond. We need a good alternator. That way when we get in the pond and it dies, we got a good charge battery. We went to O'Reilly's, we got a new belt, so we should be rocking and rolling now. Oh yeah, she's gonna stay on there good now. Bam, fixed. Now she's pondering. <laughs> this thing was built for mudding. This thing was built to go through ponds like that. And the old man that built it never got the chance to actually take it mudding. But God dang it, we're gonna make him proud. I might have broken it. You might have got water in there. I saw some puffs from the exhaust. You want to pull me out? Yeah, go get the skid loader. Uh, yeah, it's going well. Okay, well, why do you need the skid loader if it's going so well? Um, I don't, I mean, you know, just skid, we like the skid loader. You shouldn't flip it over, did you? No, I didn't flip it over. I just kind of got out here in the pond and it won't start now. Maybe it will. Hold on, let me pump it a few times. Yeah. All right, I'll call you
know what's funny? We're both here in our off-road vehicles and we're just ignoring the fact that the Humvee died right there and we left it in the weeds like six months ago. I hate that thing so much. I'm not even sad. Why would I need a Humvee? I got a Ranger. Dude, there's a little bit of mud over there in that hole. You think we ought to go mud? The problem with the pond is there's so much water holding you back. You need mud. What are you guys laughing about? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Nothing. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine? It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. good. It's, it's good. It's got clearance now. Go to the mud. I'm good? Yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. I'm fine? Yep. Okay. <laughs> 